Hello everybody, it is Azazel the Basement Dweller here, and welcome to episode 1 of Fallout New Vegas Randomized. Now, the last Fallout New Vegas series we tried to do did not go over well because uh, I lost my save data, uh, which really sucks. But, I figured it was a great opportunity to start something that uh, not a lot of people have seen, just a full playthrough of Randomizer. So we are going to be doing the Independent Vegas route, because obviously it's the most fun. Uh, and it leads to the most exploration, and we're just gonna do a full normal playthrough of Fallout New Vegas, but with randomizers equipped. So, uh, starting, uh, starting off, so, if you don't know what Fallout New Vegas randomizers is, it randomizes everything except for AI. So, for example, like, that is a robo-brain, but it's Victor, which is the first, uh, Securitron you meet. It's still Victor, it can still talk like Victor, but it has all the properties of a robo-brain. So everything except for a character's AI package has been randomized. Um, the contents of containers are randomized, items are randomized, uh, character species is randomized, and outfits. For example, we got Drip Doc Mitchell. Where is he? Where's Drip Doc Mitchell? There he is. He is saucing. Man is saucing. Sauce to the teeth. But we, uh, for example, you typically start with DLC items. Uh, our DLC items got randomized, so we started with the Dead Money Jumpsuit, uh, a slightly taller than average character height. Um, the randomized stats we got were 9 Strength, 2 Perception, 5 Endurance, 1 Charisma, 8 Intelligence, 6 Agility, and 9 Luck. Which is actually a really good roll. Uh, the low Perception and Charisma are gross, but the high Strength and high Luck means we're going to be brute forcing our way through a lot. Um, the tag skills that I picked were Melee, Barter, and Sneak. Uh, I picked Wild Wasteland as our perk, and the random weapon we started with was the La Lounge Carbine. Uh, there were also human remains in Doc Mitchell's house, so... With all that out of the way, Fallout New Vegas Randomizer. So, th the name of the game is trying to find really overpowered items really early. Look at that guy. He's got Caesar armor on. Oh, we are so slow. Oh. Howdy, partner! <laughs> Might I say- Holy shit. Bye. He's so tall. Oh, let's see what Crazy Pete turned into. Or old- What the fuck? Is his name Crazy Pete? Old Pete? Whoo, doggy! Easy Pete. Howdy. What can- <laughs> Thanks, Easy Pete. Holy shit, he's dripping. What did, uh, Chet turn into? Oh, her jump is so low. He's a manly, he's a little kid. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Alright. Let's go start the game. Let's see what Cheyenne turned into. <laughs> Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. Thanks, um... I need to get to Prim. Uh, da 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 da. Goodbye. <laughs> That's awesome. Where's Where's Trudy? That Doc Mitchell sure knows his stuff, doesn't he? Where's Trudy? Um, if there are any containers that have loot. Yeah, we want to open any container that has loot, because the randomized loot is is what... That's going to be our bread and butter this run. All the randomized stuff we can get. Because typically you can't really get... We have no ammo. Oh man, alright. Rough starting weapon, if I'm going to be honest. Alright, we need to buy... Oh we yeah, and vendors' supplies. inventories, I believe, are also random. Yep. Um... Damn. So what... <laughs> What's he selling? An ice-cold Nuka-Cola. Thick red paste. The gold bar! <laughs> Here, take this carton of cigarettes from me. Uh, we need... 
I guess just ammo at this point. So we just need 357 ammo. Pleasure doing business with you. Alright. There's not shit for us to do in Good Spring. Uh, we don't really care about Good Springs. We're, we're gonna we're gonna start the main quest line bright and early. We move so slow when we have a weapon equipped. Also, uh, the other things that are randomized are like character height and like speed and jump height. Uh, our character height is actually pretty tall, so we have slightly higher than average movement speed. But our jump height is atrocious. We go nowhere when we jump. This is like a realistic jump. Uh, it's gonna be very hard to get ammo early game too because we 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 have a weapon that requires 357. Oh yeah, also just enemy encounters are random. So, thankfully, because it's a rifle, uh, this is one of the reasons I went sneak. Most weapons in this game benefit from crits and like sneak attacks. Fuck. That hit him? Wow. He took no damage. Oh, he got frenzied though. Okay, perfect. We move so slow. I need the stealth suit, like, ASAP. Whoa! Also, randomized weather and randomized lighting are another side effect of this mod. Woo! Look at the head on that boy! Uh, so I will be turning the Pip-Boy light on because otherwise... Uh, we're, we're good. Sometimes it gets really hard to see. Alright. He's got a lot of flamer fuel. And you had energy. So we also have a laser pistol. That's our... Deactivated? Pfft. Cool. This ant was incredibly useful. Um, yeah, this is the cave. We're not really interested in the cave right now. Yeah, that's the other thing. If we just find corpses, uh, those are going to be our bread and butter as well. Because they also have randomized loot. Any containers we can find. Anything that has items that don't spawn in the world. Because, like, plants aren't randomized. But, like, vendors are randomized, and... <laughs> Got the Wild Wasteland. Yeah, so I picked Wild Wasteland because in New Vegas randomized, I mean, that feels like the most entertaining thing to watch. Boom. <laughs> it's gorgeous. We're, day one, our character's looking great, I will say. What's that sign say? Jeans. But yeah, sadly, um... Can't turn on the radio, because, you know, YouTube and all. Um, which stinks, but... Who cares? Who, need, who needs music? <laughs> this game actually has a pretty decent soundtrack, outside of the licensed music. I don't believe enemies spawn in here, yeah. But, yeah, there are a lot of containers in here. And as I said, these are our bread and butter. This is what we're looking for. So, da -da 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 -da, that. Give me the key for the locked locker. What's in here? Brahmin skin outfit. That's garbage. Ah, see now this. That was like a, that was like a, just like an early game treasure trove. So we have some armor now. Uh, we have two melee weapons. We have a varmint rifle. Uh, we're we're looking pretty good. All right, that 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 was good loot. That was that was good loot to start off with. That was very good early game loot. But that's kind of the issue. It's just early game. Are there these powder gangers? It's raining. A feature that I wish was in normal New Vegas. We're gonna like. Oh, they're tiny. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Oh. Oh, God. Get a garden gnome. Sunglasses. We're expanding the... 
We're expanding our, uh, what is it, our wardrobe. We have to wait till we're hidden, because I don't want to get negative rep with these guys yet. Alright. Uh, I was right, it was Nephi's driver. Alright. That's really good. A hundred dollars. That's pretty good. Um... We, that's pretty much another thing that we're gonna have to do a lot of, just killing random NPCs that look like they have good loot, because, like, Nephi's driver is a, is a pretty good early game melee weapon, all things considered. Yeah. It's pretty slow, but... <laughs> now we've got a weapon, you know? Uh, cabinet. Armor. Military police armor. We can use this to... Oh, wait, 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 that guy had a face wrap, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, this is actually huge, because this means we might not need to get a thousand caps. We could just use the, uh, the motorway. Give me your face wrap. Because now, I can disguise myself as an NCR character. Oh, wait. These are... Oh, they're both armors. Oh. Yeah, uh, I'd much rather have the face armor. The face wrap armor. I think it looks cooler. Okay. But yeah, now we can disguise ourselves as an NCR trooper. Also... We are dripping already. Uh, there is... Is that a fucking lake lurk? That's a lake... Ooh, yeah, no. We're gonna get the fuck up out of here, because these are some, uh... That's the thing, too, yeah, we're gonna need a lot of heavy early game enemies, like... Enemies you are not expected to fight. I forget what the thing is for the weather, it's like every five seconds... The weather gets randomized, or something, like every five seconds the weather has a chance to get randomized. There are bombs on the ground. These guys look like normal fucking powder gangers, which is kind of lame. But, they could have banging weapons on them. Perfect. What did you have on you? Hey, Gunrunner's Arsenal bat. And now we have a baseball bat. See, we're slowly working our way up. I'm pretty sure the baseball bat's just better, too. What is this? Uh, 21 flat damage. This is 19 flat damage, but... It's not better, but it's a baseball bat. So it looks cooler. Walk right up behind him, and then we just... No! Uh. <laughs> what did you have on you? Pulse mines, a ruby casserole, and motor runner's helmet. Uh, nothing great, honestly. Pretty, pretty bad loot from these guys. Nothing, nothing, nothing to write home about. Sadly, we haven't gotten anything too spectacular uh, out of the gate. I know my last run, I got a Gehenna right out of the gate. I got one of the best melee weapons in the game in Good Springs. Uh, also, the entire town of Good Springs was hostile to me the last time I did a randomizer run. But I think for now, we, we should be fine. We should be fine. Wow. We're, we're looking okay right now. Uh, where's my laser pistol? I need to start, like... You're gonna be my hotkey for this. You're gonna be my hotkey. Or, actually, no. Uh, stim packs are my right hotkey. Baseball bat's gonna be the down hotkey. And then I need the... Uh, laser pistol to be the down left hotkey. Perfect. Alright. I like having hotkeys so I don't have to keep opening my inventory. A fucking... All right. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna very slowly. I'm gonna try to headshot him. Cause this guy. Yep. There we go. Can give me a lot of XP. Tunnelers are worth a lot of XP. Yeah, early game especially. These guys are your bread and butter for early game. The really squishy late game enemies that do a lot of damage. Uh, garbage loot though, which is pretty sad. Even the centaurs are actually really... These are something you want to see because they're not hard to kill. Uh, centaurs are really easy to kill, and since they're technically late game enemies, they give you decent XP. 
uh, a spork. We also leveled up. Yeah, first level up. Uh, we're definitely going to be doubling down into sneak. Uh, we're going to put some points in the guns for early game, and then we're, we're going to double down on... Uh, we might... This might be... Uh, yeah, perks are not randomized, so we might we might go for a for a Churchesla or not a Church, a fucking Black Widow, uh, because Black Widow is kind of huge. Uh, not only for the dialogue options of Black Widow, but the uh, damage bonus is gonna be kind of huge for this run. All right, we have to be very careful because the criminals in Prim might be armed to the fucking teeth with like ridiculous weapons, or they all might be running around with like. You know, wooden baseball bats. Oh, is it the soldier? Look at him. Little boy! <laughs> That's him! That's Mr. Fallout! That's Mr. Hey, you're that, Fallout! You think you're... Hey, you're that, you think you're, uh... Fucking... Fallout New Vegas voice acting is either great or that. <sighs> oh, that's so good. Oh, any of you guys ever had a Roy Rogers before? Just Coke and Grenadine? Didn't even know what Grenadine was until a few days ago. Or like a few few weeks ago. It's so good. I love it. I love pomegranate flavored stuff. Damn, you look awesome, dude. Did he just... I'm not sure you should be here. Homeboy just shrunk. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move out of his eyesight. I'm gonna disguise myself as one of them. I'm not sure you should be here. Oh, it's empty. Okay. Alright, fuck it. A good XP and free mines for money. Alright, so here's, here's where the game gets scary, because... <laughs> Whatever's living in this town is gonna be kind of dangerous, so It's also dark as shit. Um Any criminals that we can see? No, okay. We can we can walk for a little bit What is this? The music in this game be straight terrifying All right, once we get close to this one, we're gonna hug the wall Okay, yeah, the fir one of the first criminals you'll see is always leaned up against this post. He's always here. This guy. Woo! See, they're not people, they're fucking... <laughs> they're the things from It Lives. Alright, we're, we're looking real good right now. Those were two very good kills. Homeboy looks like he has good loot. <sighs> Gecko banded metal armor reinforced. Uh, early game. That's fucking. That's amazing. <laughs> Pass up, little bro. <laughs> that's really good for early game. That's just a lot of armor. Uh, you have a plasma grenade. U.S. Army General outfit. Plus 10 speech. Not bad, not bad. Alright, um, I believe those were all the criminals that are just walking around. Some throwing knife spears, alright. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So, garbage can't, flower. <laughs> let me see, let me see. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to. Uh, I got some questions for you. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Uh, package. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Okay, goodbye. So now, this is the fun part. We have to do this. We gotta clear out the Bison Steve Hotel. Uh, this should be pretty fun. You like 
Can I can I reload my save? Thank God. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. I've got an idea, right? We're gonna reload again. And I'm literally just gonna... Perfect. Rando. Get down. Oh, this guy's tiny as hell. Alright, we're just gonna go beat the shit out of him with uh with our bare hands, and by bare hands I mean um a baseball bat. He had a lot of money on him. He had an incinerator. Alright, we're... Here we go. Now we're looking pretty good. We're still on fire, by the way. If it was not apparent, we are... Cool. Cash registers. They have the, the chance to have a lot of money inside them. Okay, um... I'll just sing my own music while I explore. How about that? You guys like hearing me sing? That's what we'll do. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. We'll just make our own music. Um, that is a ghost person. Where'd he go? He really was a ghost person. <laughs> Alright, so there are a lot of enemies in this room. Damn, they've got high-ass perception! Wow, I am super slow. Um... Wow, uh... Like that? This gun sucks for up-close encounters, so here's what we're gonna do. Yeah, just fuck these two guys in particular. Um... Goodbye. What is that? A katana? Fuck yeah! And the Mobius glasses? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now, these are some weapons. Where's the industrial hand? We just won. That's it. That's the run. You can tune off now. We, we just won. Ow, he's got... Sp you know what? Yeah, so the industrial hand might actually be one of the best melee weapons in the game. In my uh, humble opinion, which I respect. The high strength is also very useful for just- wow, these guys had money. And remember, yeah, any trash cans we see, like, anything that can have goodies inside of it can also- like, we- we are in a very good spot now. We went from, like, eh, this early game's looking a little rough to, yeah, we got the industrial hand. Um... Oh, what the fuck? We've got, like, a- like, a Hannibal Lecter situation going on in here. That's a cool looking convict, though. Pre war steak. Dog steak. Preserved meat. Oh, yeah, we gotta open up all these containers that can contain. Yep. Everything that can contain uh, food has a chance to contain just really high end healing supplies. Okay. Hey, Beagle. I don't suppose you... Must be Deputy Beagle. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. See, so, yeah, he's gonna be moving really slow because he's tiny. Ice cold Nuka-Cola. 
The U.S. Declaration of War on Germany. That belongs in the trash. I love looking at the trash cans, man. This is the best part of the mod. Holy shit, he's got the Gobi, the, the Gobi campaign rifle. What the fuck? Can I steal that from him? I would have to kill him. That sucks. He has the fucking Gobi campaign. Also, we just have a katana. Like... We are already winning. Pretty sure we checked all these guys. They didn't have anything uh, too interesting on them, yeah. We could take some... Oh, I can't even jump over this. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. Hey there. Well, that was. Okay. Nah. Boom. All right. So now we're heading to Nipton. Yeah, when we're out of combat, we're gonna wear light armor. Also, wait, I just realized. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Wearing the dark light cowl gives you night vision, if I remember, which is actually really useful. Because... Um... The random weather. One of the random weathers you can get is just fucking, like, Eclipse. That's awesome. I'm not gonna keep it on all the time, but, like... Woo! I heard rustling. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm good. I don't want to fight him. Well, that's some clean looking water that's probably not clean. Woo! Yep, that's not clean at all. However, uh, there is just a location over here. That water looks kind of gross. <laughs> There we go. Just wanted to, you just want to discover a lot of locations so you have a lot of places to fast travel. Because, you know. Damn, I wish we had the war club. Once we get the... If, if an enemy drops a war club, then we win. The war club is not a... Gr uh, what is that? What's over there? Robo Scorpion! A convict. That motherfucker's got a super sledge. Hold up. See, okay. I was talking a lot of shit about starting with a sniper rifle. But this sniper rifle might actually have been, like, the best thing to start with. Or it's not a sniper rifle. It's like a carbine, but whatever. This might have been... Oh, thank God. Yeah, the first shot just didn't do damage. Hey, he's COVID safe. Whoa, what is happening? Woo! You saw a predictive aim? I'm actually hell at the video. Wow, they were super tiny. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, super tiny. But, oh, baby. Oh, I broke the weapon, that's why. That's, that's why it was, it did no damage, because I shot the weapon out of his hand. What did you have? You had, like... This machine, uh, kills, uh, uh, communists? Socialists? I don't... What's the, what's the phrase? What's the, the, the musical guy? This, this machine kills something? This machine kills eggs? Perhaps? Not, not very, not uber familiar with U.S. history. There you go, the Ivanpah Dry Lake. That is going to be an XP farm. Uh, this place is also going to be an amazing XP- Ooh, wow, welcome to the- Whoa! Naughty language. Uh, no. Cool. Um, 
Oh, what the fuck? Who are you? Cool hat. Hold on. Oh my god! They've got fucking alien technology. Hold on. Oh, you hurt! Holy shit. Uh. No, 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 no. Uh. Ruby's casserole. Preserved meat. Lake lurk me, irradiated sunset task parallel. We need as much healing as we can get. Wow, I did not realize how much damage I was taking. Um, fuck it. Alright. <laughs> Perhaps not the most... <laughs> not the most intelligent play. But it was my play to make, and I made it. All right. Well, that was. Boom. All right, let's go. Oh, that's also why we were taking so much damage because I'm used to just wearing the the metal armor. Okay, so. That's just refreshing, that's what it is. This Roy Rogers, incredibly refreshing. Not an advertisement. I don't think you can purchase, like, a Roy Rogers. Like, obviously, like, you go to, like, a restaurant or something, you can be like, hey, can I get a Roy Rogers? But, like, I don't think you can purchase, like, pre-made Roy Rogers. I don't even know what the ratio is supposed to be. To me, this just tastes like, like, Coke. <laughs> like, it, it tastes like Coke, but, like, it's red. Oh shit, a wild cow. Um, hi, you're gonna die. <laughs> Something wicked this way comes. Oh, uh, well there was the spore plant pods. Oh, a bunch of centaurs spawn over here normally. Yeah. I just realized the sheer hilarity, like, one of the enemies that can spawn, I, I'm assuming that certain enemies have a much lower chance to spawn than others for, like, quote-unquote balance purposes. Uh, because, like, if the glowing bloat fly could spawn anywhere, that would be kind of ridiculous. That sounds hilarious, though. I can't wait. Now, let me start healing now, actually. I just got some purified water, so let's, um... Let's just eat some food so we can regenerate, because I don't want to, like, get one shot by the next fight we run into, you know? <sighs> Speaking of food, I gotta eat something in real life. I'm fucking starving. <laughs> Securitron. Oh, what? He's neutral? You bastard! I thought he was gonna assist me. There is a Cazador and, like, an evolved centaur over there. That is awesome. I don't think I can shoot at them without having them, uh, like, aggro onto me. But. Let's, uh, let's try it out. Okay. So the only things that are angry over here are the Cazador and the Mr. Handy. Okay. Oh! Okay. There were a lot more enemies over there than I previously thought. Um.
Wow, the Securitron has some fucking balls. Hold on. Alright, alright. Come here. Pot. Ugh, come here, you. Hey, hey, no! Wait a minute! Where are you? I don't want to have to, like... Now it's just me and Mr. Steel. Oh, wow! Wowzers, you hurt. Holy shit, okay. Noted. I hurt too. Whew! Okay. Dropped a bunch of ammo. Alright, that was definitely worth it. There's something else. I had to. I had to use my bare hands for that one. Let's get the let's get some unarmed up. Uh definitely definitely want to keep going on the the sneak shit. And um let's let's bump up barter to 25. And this coyote had nothing great on him. All right. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right. Uh, give me... Alright, so the only thing I might change, uh, because at the end of the day, this is a YouTube playthrough. This is a playthrough meant for YouTube. I might increase our movement speed by a little bit. Uh, because our movement speed is really slow. And, like, I know that's, like, uh, haha, like, funny. You know, because we're moving a little slow, but, like... To play, and I'm assuming to watch, moving this slow is not very pleasant. Uh, I'll keep the jump height the same, though. I do like the low jump arc. Alright, I'm gonna do God's work. My last bullet was for you, Ollie. Just for you, asshole. Game's giving us nice long zoom in on that body. They know. They know there was a good reason behind that one. Fuck you, Oliver Swanick. Give me that lottery ticket, loser. I'm out of here. Oh, oh, what's happening? Oh, the colors. They're so saturated. Holy shit. Um, so, I'd like to point out <laughs> that, like, they are obvi- <laughs> They are obviously very dependent on- on- Oh, never mind, they- they have just got terrifying weaponry all around. Um. Did you see that? That guy was gonna kill me. What? They Always. They hardly even know how to Come on! I'm out You cannot initiate the fight and then run. That's not how we do this. Don't worry. Oh come on, man. <laughs> I'll do as you ask. Damn. 
No, I'm so slow. Oh my god, it it sucks. It really does. Um She's so fast. I'm out of here. There we go. All right, perfect. I just wanted to kill her to see what loot she has. Ah, oh, garbage. I'm taking those star caps though. <laughs> the dogs. That's amazing. I really like that. What? Hi, what? Sorry, bro. You had cool looking armor. Oh, what the fuck? Hold on. Wait a minute. Didn't even realize. So, yeah, you can kill these guys and then just take their stuff because nobody cares. Um, these guys can have some pretty good loot on them because the guy behind me, as I saw, uh, this dude has a fucking assassin suit on, which we're definitely taking. Uh, because assassin suits are amazing. Give me that. Because I believe they increase your crouch speed. No, but they do increase your sneak and their light armor. So, we're, 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 we're chilling. We're, we're doing very good for ourselves right now. Do we have any just hats that isn't this one? Because, like, this one looks kind of stupid. Uh, oh wait, now we can put on the dark light mask and it'll probably look pretty cool. Yeah, that looks like it's part of the set. But, here's the big thing. Here's what I'm really... Where's the makeshift gas mask? Oh yeah, there we go. That's a Fallout character right there. Oh yeah. I'm gonna save so that if we die we don't lose any of this. Because like this is awesome loot. All right, um, we need to head to, um, we have to head to Novak. All right, so once we get to Novak and do all the asking questions there to get the Boulder City quest, we're going to call this, uh, we're going to call this done for now because, uh, we're already reaching like 40 minutes, 40, 45 minutes or some shit. So I, I just don't want to, I don't want to, you know. I don't want to make these episodes super long, but I also don't want to make them too short. As I said, this is supposed to be a series to replace, like, Indivisible. Um, so, obviously, this is... Ooh, cool. This is supposed to be our series to replace Indivisible, so... Um, we're gonna try to do the whole 45 minutes to an hour format that Indivisible had. Also, I'm, I'm probably going to play Indivisible on my own, like do a New Game Plus run, but if I do any of the secret... Oh. If I do any of like, the secret bosses or anything, I'll be sure to post them on YouTube. Sorry, bro. The worst part is, you know this gun probably does ridiculous damage when it hits. What are you? Oh. Are you guys the legionaries from earlier? They are. They're just walking around. As I said, this industrial hand, quite possibly one of the best early game drops you can get. Because, uh, A, this is a DLC item. You need to play, um, whatever it's called to get this, uh, Lonesome Road to get this, uh, this weapon. Same thing with the Thermic Lance. And the Thermic Lance might actually be the best weapon in the game. 
this is the Horowitz Farmstead, I believe. Or like the Raided Farmstead. It's one of the two. Wolf Horn Ranch. It was neither. I don't believe anybody lives in here. Yeah. This is where you get the chopper. And I think that's about it. Um, that's pretty cool. An ear. Yeah. As it, as it, as it were. We're gonna sleep. I'm gonna keep it pushing. Is there a person here? Fuck, what did I bump into? A raven? Yo, so like... Oh god! Alright, yeah. We'll, we'll head to Novak in the one in the episode. I didn't realize how far Novak was. I think on top of this highway, this is either a bunch of birds, or this is a group of traders. It's a group of tra What the fuck are you wearing, dude? This guy looks terrifying. Look at their goons! <laughs> this is awesome! <laughs> hey there. Need anything? Armed to the fucking teeth. Hey there, you need anything? Yeah, yeah, I need some stuff. Uh, items in general, yeah. I want to sell all... We're, we're about to make a fat stack. We're about to make so much money. And then we have to go back to miscellaneous. Selling this. Sell the US... Uh, actually, no, we're going to keep this for posterity. We'll sell the lottery ticket. Because it was just to spite Oliver Swanick. Alright. What are you selling? Um... Do you have... Do you have just... Oh, garbage ammo. What about you? Hey there. Need anything? What do you have? Instant buy. Uh, armor of the 87th tribe. God, nothing? You don't even have any weapons. Fuck. Howdy. I wish... I wish that my sneak was good enough to kill just that guy. Uh, this is kind of just the miracle I was waiting for. Oh shit! First of all... Yeah, he had a brush gun. Yes! This is exactly what I was hoping for, holy shit. The fucking, the legionaries to try to jump them. Oh man, okay, this is awesome. This is awesome. Because I, I really just want his fucking, his remnants armor. Because... It's gonna be a slow walk up. He's got the Nuka-Cola sign! This is awesome! This is the best walk to Prim ever. <sighs> yeah, uh, I'll be taking that. Thanks, champ. No, 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 come on. Because I can't put this on yet, because it's power armor. But we can, we can make that happen. No, wait, I need the, the NCR armor. 
Um, I just need to drop something so I can run over to them real quick. Oh, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna fucking... And then I want the Tesla arm. Hey there. Me Apparel. Um, you can take this. And this. I still need to sell a bunch of shit. And then, a bunch of weapons we're not gonna use. And with that, we're just going to buy, like, all the ammo she has, um... Damn, does she really not have anything else? Okay, there we go. That's more what I was looking for. Because I could sell these, I could sell the plasma caster, all of these, and she doesn't really have shit that I want. Okay, yeah, that should have emptied out our inventory a decent amount, yeah. So, we have a Saturday Night Fist now. This is the real attraction. That, uh, as I said, that is quite possibly one of the best outcomes we could have hoped for. Um, because we get the Remnant's Power Armor, which is, I believe, one of, if not the strongest suit of power armor in the game. Is this another group of traitors? Are you just another? No, no, you guys are NCR troopers, okay. I'm not sure you should be here. Hey, go eat a dick. Who's that guy? It's snowing? I actually like the way this game looks when it's raining. I think that's pretty cool. I think this game handles rain the same way Oblivion handles rain, where it's not a worldwide phenomenon of, like, rain falling, it's, there's a circle of rain around your character in each direction. Like, in each direction around you, there is a perfect circle of, like, rain graphics around your character. Who are you? Awe. Awe. There's like a perfect thing of, uh, like a circle of rain around you, and it goes just far enough so that it looks like it's raining everywhere. Like, if you look up, you can see just how far it goes. I've always thought that was a pretty creative solution, uh, to rain in video games. I always thought that was a pretty cool solution. You motherfucker. <laughs> the nerve. Oh, yeah, so a Saturday Fist, for those who don't know, this is literally just a, um, a, what's it called? A Power Fist, but it attacks faster. That's it. That's all it is. It's a Power Fist with really high attack speed. That's not Novak, I don't think. Where am I? Now it's foggy. That's kind of cool. I like that a lot. I, I like that. It goes from raining to foggy. This is like a bandit camp, I think. I haven't done a lot of, like, exploring in certain areas. This is a ranger station. What the fuck? This shit looks awful. Um, okay, yeah. We're, we're about to reach Novag. This episode went on for like 
t uh, ten minutes longer than I wanted it to because of that that chance encounter with a group of fucking traitors. Uh, honestly, the real hindrance of runs for randomizer playthroughs is sometimes enemies will spawn that you will not have an answer for. Oh, what the fuck? Frame rate's tweaking. There we go. Sometimes, oh look at that, that's weird. Sometimes enemies will spawn and you have no options to deal with them because of randomizer. That's the only thing that sucks. Sometimes you fight enemies way earlier than the game intends for you to fight them. And it leads to very unfun scenarios where you can't really do anything. Alright, we're in Novak. Look at you. Been to the top of the diner yet? All right. So much like uh, I believe our original episode of Fallout New Vegas, we're gonna end it off looking at the dinosaur. Right here, the perfect place to end the uh, the progenitor episode of this series. Right here. Boom. All right. So. This was the first episode of Fallout New Vegas Randomizer. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this so far. Uh, I think that this game is super fun. I think the randomizer, for somebody like me who has this many hours in Fallout New Vegas, it's such a fresh, fun way to play through the game because it changes so many scenarios and it just makes the game more fun. It makes it more funny, it makes the game more challenging in a lot of regards, and it makes the game a lot easier in a lot of regards. It's a fun experience all around. I hope you guys had as much fun watching as I had playing. If you like your summer, like, comment, subscribe, dislike it if you dislike it. This was me. Melting Spills Bloodily, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.